Hello Learning Birds, this is Eric Buffington and this is our creative writing lesson on editing. We're going to talk about making sure to do a spell check or grammar check on your work, also getting some trusted friends to read the things that you write, how to ask for specific feedback, and how to accept that feedback after you've gotten it. So, a spell check. The spell check on the computer will pick up certain things, but it doesn't catch everything. Especially if you've spelt a word incorrectly or put the wrong word in, but it is an actual word. So if you accidentally put sit instead of sat, the spell check won't catch that because sit is a word. So you have to be careful to read through carefully everything that you've written. Read the entire story through very carefully. If you find yourself skimming through paragraphs, stop and put it down for a little bit and then read back through very carefully. Reading it out loud is another great way to pick out certain things that you want to reword, things for clarity, and also it's an easy way to pick up on things that, that are mistakes. Check with someone who is good at spelling. All right, I know spelling isn't my biggest strength. I'm not very good at it at all. So check with someone who you feel is really good at that, someone who has a strength of spelling words correctly. Check with them and, and have them read through it as well. We'll talk about that, having friends read it. That's our next point. It leads right into that. So you want to ask some friends to read your work as you're going through it. Be confident in your work. You've put a lot of time and effort into it, and it might be something that um, you're a little bit hesitant to share with other people, but you need to share it with someone. Just be confident that your work is, is the best that it is. You've You've read through it, you've proofread it, you've done your part. You want to share it with some people. And it's okay if some people don't like it. It doesn't mean they don't like you. It just means that that's not their style, and that is perfectly okay. When you are having your friends read over it, make sure to ask for specific feedback. And don't just ask them if they liked it. That's not helpful advice in making your story the best that it can be. Did you like it? Yes, I did. Okay, thanks. It's perfect the way it is. No, every person who reads your book should be able to give you some feedback to make it better. So don't just ask them if they liked it. Ask them, what do you think will happen next? Which character did you like the most? And ask them why. Look, ask you those friends who are really good at, at spelling and grammar stuff, ask them to look for any spelling mistakes or grammar mistakes that they can find. The more typos your friends find, the less will be in your final draft. And a great question that I ask a lot of people, are there any parts of this book that are not clear? Any sentences that need to be rephrased? They'll point out things that I thought was clear, and then I read through it and go, oh, maybe maybe it could be clarified. It could be changed a little bit so it's more clear for everyone. So ask for some specific feedback. Here's just some examples. And then some will be specific to whatever it is that you're writing, your creative writing that you're putting together. Also, this last part, and I've got a fun story for this, but accepting feedback with a smile. Your friends are giving feedback because they like you. They are giving their feedback because they want your writing to be the best that it can be. The criticism is of your work. It is not a criticism of you. Just keep those things in mind. We should be happy when people feel that way. Good friends are confident enough to say, you could improve your work and, and not feel like they're insulting the person. So try and keep that in mind as well that if a true friend is there giving you good feedback because they want your work to be the best that it can be it should make you happy to get feedback like that also it's okay for you to ignore some feedback don't tell them right right there but in your final work it's your work and so if you get some feedback that that just doesn't fit or you just don't like it's okay for you to ignore it and that's perfectly fine as well now, I want to tell a quick story about accepting help. When I first wrote the book, Stones of Power of the Exile, I had about 30 pages written, and that was pretty long for the first thing I'd ever written, and I handed it to my wife and tried to get some feedback. I've got the first page of it here with just some notes that she had in there. 
um, open with the setting, you didn't tell me where it was, you didn't say if it was warm out, what time of year is it, and all sorts of notes around there. If you look real close at the top, there are some really important things there. It says, what is the point? And where's the bad guy? You see that up top? What's the point? That was the feedback that I got from my wife after I wrote, I started writing, first thing I was ever writing. That could have been very discouraging for me, but she was absolutely right. I hadn't set up a good conflict, so you're reading through it going, oh, that's a nice story, but there's no real point to it. She was absolutely right, and she told me that feedback because she thought it was a decent story, but she wanted it to be better. So just keep that in mind. Share it with people you trust. Share it with people that you know care about you and then be confident in the feedback that they give you is a criticism of the work, not a criticism of you. It's a tough lesson to learn for authors, but it's an important one. All right, good luck. Keep writing and I hope that lesson's been helpful for you. Have a great day.